Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to somebody who I know and I like, but I've never seen him fight. It's quite crazy. Like he's so famous that I know him. I've seen him in so many different things, but I have never watched a fight of his. This is before and after fighting. Khabib Nurmagomedov. So don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content. Comment on what you see next. And subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. Hope you enjoy the video. I told you guys, we're gonna make him humble. Fight Ooh. fans, welcome back. You're a phony, a fake. Last year, GSP said there were three types of people in combat sports the fighters, the athletes, and the artists. Oh, 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 and oh, my God. Wow. Yo. But. With a relentless work ethic, insane natural ability, and dominance in all areas. The choice regarding Russia's undisputed lightweight king isn't so straightforward. So now enjoying retirement, we retrace the legacy of a humble champion that never lost, never bled, and was never visibly hurt inside the octagon. That's how What the heck? He never lost. He never bled. And he was never hurt. How? How many how, how many fights did he do? Good. Habib Nurmagomedov is. Something in a sport as unpredictable as mixed martial arts that speaks for itself. You wanna fight? Come here. Inside the cage, come. Here we look at opponents before and after fighting Habib Nurmagomedov. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. 16 and 0 is the mixed martial arts record, and he's just 23 years old. 10 years wow. ago, the Russians signed the dotted line, entering the UFC's lightweight roster on a six fight deal. Look at how small he was, man. It is not about the size. Look how small he is. Straying under the radar, he picked up his first handful of victories, dragging his opponents the distance, but crunching, mauling, and slamming them in the process. UFC record, 21 takedowns. With an ever-evolving style, Habib would beat Rafael Dos Anjos, his first top five opponent, without losing a single round. I just want to see who's got the style to handle this guy. Some were convinced, others not so much. But everybody had started to take notice. I think he's a little amateur. Uh, I think that he, he needs a little you know, work. Habib made off before you were here. He's already in the press room somewhere telling everybody that'll listen. Hey, he's undefeated. He deserves to be next. Is, is, is he what you think should be next? Hey, if, he, if they want him next, give him a shot. I'm ready. It would be two years later, following a series of freak knee injuries, that Habib would finally be back in action. You're fat, you're slow, you have I, no I, rhythm. I, I can't wait to shut your face with my hand. I'm gonna knock you out. Unfortunately, Tony Ferguson pulled out, facing health issues of his own. So kind of a hard to swallow. Leaving Pennsylvanian Daryl the St. Horcher with the opportunity of a lifetime. Here, UFC give me fight versus Tony. 16 April, I'm here. Where's Tony? Tony is pull out. Looks so Please, small, shut man. up. I have fight. I have fight, Daryl Horcher. I have to focus with this guy. I don't think you can stand with me. There's nobody on the planet who can stand with me. All I do is touch you. Whether we're on the ground or we're standing up, that's all it takes. Obviously, there was better matchup that we could have on nine days' notice than to be themselves. You see, know, this but... is a problem. When people go on to talk and talk and talk before the game, that's a problem, man. Just shut up. And you know, if you're confident you're going to win, shut up and talk after the facts. But no, they're going to go and talk and talk and talk and then come into lost. But he's just a man. They're all the same. At the 160-pound catchweight, Horcher was a huge underdog. And as the fight unraveled, it became more and more apparent why. Big shots. Horcher's got to protect himself. I'm going to touch him and he's not going to like my power. You'll and see. that's the just of it. You know, this could easily be stopped. 7-0 in the UFC. Though with an embrace and show of respect, it was a night that highlighted the more amicable side of mixed martial arts. I came up short in my debut. Tough guy. What he did tonight, no one won. You know, you fight the number one guy in the division on eight day notice. You know, I lost 25 pounds in seven days. I came off the couch. I hadn't trained in months. This was my real debut. Real debut. Real debut. I got a question. Did you ever get the chance to continue or after Khabib F him up, he was done? Is this still a 
fighting or he was done. His career is ended with Habib. He's an animal. I truly think he is the best lightweight in the world. With Eddie Alvarez sidestepping Habib in exchange for red panty night. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your next. It was another tough, quick, and confident American that would take his place. I'm about to go celebrate with my team in the back, and we're getting ready for soon. I went on that New York card. Anybody, let's First go. First of all, I have to beat Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson already beat Tony Ferguson, Barboza, a lot of tough guys. He's not easy fight. Tony aside, Michael Johnson was the... How has he never bled? How is that? He's never bled. How? The only man calling out Khabib and labeling him as one-dimensional. No, I'm here to take care of business. I'm here to fight. I'm here to get a win. And uh, that's all it is. I don't think we're going to see a new Khabib. We haven't seen him. We haven't seen him progress his game at all. I, I hope he tries to test it out on me Saturday. You know, I'm looking forward to that one. Whilst Johnson, too, deserves credit for stepping up to the plate, his fate was no less brutal. It almost seems like they're shocked at how strong he is. He's in there, he's pounding Michael Jones. He's like, I go to smash your boy. Make no mistake. Talking to him in the process, the Eagles swept him up, dropped him, and then drowned him. No, I could have slammed him through, but I said two times that he would have lost. You know this, I just said. Accurately did it. Because this ball, if it breaks, it will not be able to stop this hand. Michael should tap or he's going to break his arm. He's going to break his arm. What a display of dominance. Wow, I respect that, man. I understand why so many people love Habib. He could have ended the guy's career, but he was like, no, let me not do that. Let me give you another chance. You just have to tap. That's, that's how do we call the art? Sportsmanship? Both men showed respect in the aftermath. But Habib's focus quickly switched to the lightweight title and one man in particular. I want to fight for your chicken because this is number one easy fight in lightweight division. I think I deserve this, but this is up to main event because if Conor win, of course he not take this fight. Who presented the toughest challenge in your opinion? <laughs> I mean, that's got to be Khabib. I mean, come on, I mean, he's just... Uh... Khabib would get his shot at the lightweight strap in early 2018. But five months prior, it was Edson Barboza that would look to halt the Russians' route to the top. Khabib, I know he, he's a true fighter, but Kona, I prefer don't talk about him because he's not a true fighter. On the back of three convincing wins, Barboza jumped at his chance to face the very best. The two best lightweights in the world fighting, you know? He definitely won the best, I and mean, won the best, and uh, that's making me very excited for this fight. The fight itself. I respect this guy because he wasn't talking anything bad about Habib, but he was saying, yeah, he he did what he did a good job. He's a fighter. Conor is not a fighter, but he's a real fighter. I respect that. With that attitude, even if you lose, man, there's no shame. Felt like a slow, brutal execution. You know, Jordan in his prime. You just you just can't cover the guy. It's almost like he's the only one on the court. Yeah. Remember, enough, it, it was like he was the only one in the cage. Dominance by Habib Nurmagomedov. Wow. Fight of the night and a reminder of just how good Habib really was. What does make him so special? Everybody know his game. Everybody know his game plan. And nobody can stop him. I think definitely one of the best of all the time in the lightweight. Now, if you have to give me one hour rest, I can fight one more time with Conor or Tony. That no problem. No, nah, Khabib looked terrible in that fight. He's just barreling down, coming straight forward like a tank. You know, I got a little more style than I got a little more. I think it's a bit vain, but Khabib, because he's probably, I'm probably his biggest fan in the UFC. So you really think he looked terrible in that fight? Khabib? Yeah, I, I, the man looked the same that he did a couple years ago. After another Tony Ferguson injury, coupled with some replacement drama. They checked, they looked at me, and they said, you don't look good, you can't do it. That's all that happened, and it walked out. It was Al Tayapinta, a former championship wrestler with fantastic takedown defense, who'd be up next with a chance to snatch the vacant lightweight title. You'd have to pay me $2 million to fight, a million dollars to fight Khabib. I don't want to fight that guy. You see what happened to Barbosa? <laughs> nuts. They're getting beat up to the point where they want out. And that's something that you're never going to see with me. So This week, they asked me to fight with five different guys. If you can bring King Kong and he can make 155, let's go. Take 
<laughs> the New Yorkers take down defense and awareness was indeed on point. That was very intriguing was the fact that Iaquinta was able to get back up. Unfortunately for him, this was the night we found that Habib's striking had improved greatly. Habib was hitting his opponent and not getting hit back. Iaquinta's performance drew a lot of praise, supposedly laying the blueprint to beat the Russians. He's cool, calm under pressure, he got out of it, and then he was like, all right, that's it, now I'm going to kill you. But with the American referring to him as a monster post-fight, it was still going to take something otherworldly to stop him. Now I want to fight with George St. Pierre in New York, Madison Square Garden. Hey, He's good in certain positions, he's amazing in it. And he's also amazing at getting to the positions that he's amazing. You're a monster to be. You're proud. Hey, 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 good job. Yo, I see why people love this guy so much, man. I see why people love him so much. This is, oh, man. I feel. I I wish that I was watching UFC at the time. Imagine the build up and all of that, and people are yeah, Khabib, Khabib, Khabib. But this is first his game. Man. message hey come here this place and that's it thus far in his career khabib's grace and humility had repelled the majority of bad blood or trash talk however as we know this was all about to change i am going to truly truly love putting a bad bad beating on this little glass jaw rack you three four times you tap four so times so i'll chop your head you off the like canvas, chicken kid. You with both men's personalities amplified under what did he mean by this uh connor top three times i also know connor because this fight even though i watch ufc this fight was everywhere everywhere i think uh i came to the us the same week i think this fight happened the same week that i came into the us tony tony if i'm not mistaken just before covid was in january i came and i came into the us end of january 2020 so I think the fight happened back then at the time because I remember everybody talking about this fight. But what did he mean by Conor top three times? Does he mean he was already defeated three times before he fought Khabib who had never been defeated before? Under the spotlight, this really was the ultimate good guy versus bad guy showdown. You'll never be the Oris. You will never be the Oris. Same. It will be the biggest fight in history. I'm not going to lie. still pinching them. I'm not gonna lie. I like the trash talk. I'm not gonna lie. It's fun. It makes the game more fun, man. As long as you don't insult, you don't go beyond the boundaries. You only uh, roast in your opponent. I like that. Themselves as the two made the walk to the octagon. This is not Eddie Alvarez or Jose Aldo. This is a completely different fighter. If you wanna stop it, you have to kill me. But for the Irishman, the dream slowly turned into a nightmare. Connor's getting lit up. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. Khabib brought his best wow. to the octagon, which was shortly followed by his worst. I couldn't believe my eyes while it was happening. Oh no, total chaos here. A bittersweet ending to the sport's highest grossing pay-per-view. Connor gets a hard time about his, uh, about his cardio all the time, but who has Khabib faced that didn't look like that after two rounds? I, um, I just misinterpreted it. His efficiency. He was very efficient and he took, he took shots well. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions like, what do I see weaknesses in, in Khabib's game? Or where do I think he makes mistakes? And I, I don't really need him to be weak for me to be strong. You know, I, I don't need huge glaring holes. I'm going to create them. What are your plans as champion? I just want to mold people. This is what I want to do. I'm going to listen to him all night, make him tired and then make him tap. This is my plan. A year later, after putting the ugliest scenes of his career behind him, right Khabib's attention turned to another man who was. What did he say by something ugly happened the same night? What what did happen the same night? What was the problem? Because Khabib is usually the the calm guy. Did he do something wrong? Tearing through the lightweight division. And I didn't know that he fought after he fought Connor because I thought I thought Connor was. The big, big guy, and after he defeated Conor, I thought was, that was it. He couldn't fight anymore because he was already the, the, the goat. I didn't know he could fight more. Dana, Sean, Khabib, let's go! Poirier didn't bring the drama like Conor, but as an all-rounder with game-changing power, it was a clash that lit up the imagination in equal measure. 
I'm going to make something special happen September 7th in Abu Dhabi. I'm going to shock the world. We saw a more cautious version of Dustin in Abu Dhabi. You have to push him back a little. And we haven't really seen that out of anybody yet because they're so worried about that the speed of that shot. And ultimately, despite having success of his own, he was overpowered and submitted in the third. Oh, okay. I thought it was Khabib who was... They know what he wants to do. They can't stop it. Red man with good people. A great show of respect capped off another of the lightweight division's hottest showdowns. If anything adversity has taught me in the past, it's when times are good, be grateful. And when times like this, be graceful. And his hand, his feet are like hands, like his foot sweeps and, and the way he breaks you down, it's, it's good, man. He's good. So good. You know, people know who both of these guys are. They know what they're both capable of. And that's why this fight is so big. It's going to cause him some serious, serious issues in there. He's not going to be able to do what he wants when he wants. And a promise to his family. You know what's crazy? Everybody keeps saying that. I mean, the guy beat Conor McGregor. What, what else do you... Why are you still talking? Who do you think you are? Fight Island would be the last time we saw Khabib defend his crown and unbeaten record. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this. And I will do it till the wheels fall off. When he's on his feet, I will be causing massive damage to his legs, to his body and his face. An elite wrestler, a devastating striker, and a man with newfound composure, Justin Gagey was considered the man with the best chance of dethroning the champion. He should be afraid. Gagey should be afraid of the takeout, which he will be. And with one of the most exciting styles in the game, no trash talk was necessary. Everyone knows this is the best fight at 155 pounds, and we are finally he here. He pointed at him and said, you have jet lag. During the fight? During the fight. He said, <laughs> you have jet lag. He said, Gagey said, no, I don't and hit him with a left hook and an uppercut. What was supposed to be the roughest, toughest night's work of Khabib's career is made to look like another day at the office. Just Justin Gaethje to sleep! He does things to world-class guys that makes you just confused. Khabib told his own corner to quiet down as the fight ended, which speaks for itself. And Gaethje's humble response and defeat might even have gained him more fans than a victory. Don't want to imagine, wow. you know, what he was going through. But uh, as soon as the fight was over, I went up and told him that he just made his father so proud. And uh, it, was, it was, you know, he did. Oh, was his father dead before the fight or did he die after the fight? I'm not sure. As we look below the video, we see the teeming flocks of commenters feeding in their natural habitat they are gloriously diverse some are aggressive combative and vindictive hey i don't get what's going on that was a pretty good video that was pretty good this is my introduction to habib i've seen him on podcast actually in one podcast i saw him on the pbd podcast and man the respect that guy was receiving from the crowd and from pbd that was amazing but yeah this is for today's video i hope you enjoyed it I didn't know how good of a... I know like he, he fought Conor McGregor, but I didn't know how many people fought before and after. Man, Khabib. Khabib is amazing, brother. No wonder why so many people love him. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment or see you next. And subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time.